Hi hi, Genki Call here with a tiny tutorial for you on storms and the way that they behave and how they can help your teams. So a storm is, uh, let me go in here and show you. So if you look over right here, when I click, oh, not click, but when I hover over nature's aura, you'll see that it, it is a talent that will create a leaf storm at the start of battle. There are a lot of different um, classes that will start a storm at the start of the battle. There are some that will make it keep running throughout every single battle, no matter what happens with the other team. Um, there are just a, a lot of different types of storms. But for this video, for this moment, what I'm going to show you is the leaf storm and how it can help your team. So if you have something that can blow some stuff up immediately upon entering a a battle it's going to make things go very very quickly so I'm gonna show you this this orb right here is what shows what kind of storm is currently running you can click on it to see this is a leaf storm green gems fall more than other colors and that's what a storm is all about more of that color falling than any other so when I blow this off hopefully you'll be able to see lots of green coming down filling up Queen Bee and making this go very quickly so that is what is powerful about a storm and why they are so useful. But there are some things you need to know about the behavior of storms. So for the Phoenicia team, Phoenicia needs to have a firestorm going so that she can have double damage. Let me show you right now, I've got it on Slayer, which has the possibility of um, of a firestorm, but I'm going to run it with Icy Veil instead. So you'll see there is going to be a uh, there's going to be a storm blowing, but it's not going to do the damage that needs to be done to get. Uh, we don't have the storm we need to give her double damage, so it's not going to do much good. Um, it'll bring down lots of blue for Mirage Queen, which is really not what I want to do. But you can see it's called an ice storm. Blue gems fall more than other colors. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do this. Get lots of mana. But I don't have all that red falling. Got to click on that again. I forgot. I don't have all that red coming down to... Um, see, I had to cast once. I'm going to have to cast again to end this battle. Um... I don't have all that red falling down to help me get things done quickly, which is what I want to do. I want to be able to be as efficient as possible with my teams. It's just the way I like to do things. And if the other team gets a chance to start rolling on you, if they get a chance, they're going to just wipe you out. So let me switch this now. Or stay with Slayer because I'm trying to level it right now. I'm going to switch this to Firestorm. Firestarter gives a Firestorm at the start of battle. That's going to give me lots of red falling down. And I'll show you the difference in how fast this is going to go with that Firestorm going with Phoenicia. Phoenicia is awesome. I love her. Okay, she's already full of mana. You see lots of red was on the board. Click once. Boom. Gone. Done. So... There are multiple troops that are affected by storms in the game. It's not just Phoenicia. There are others that are affected in different ways by storms. Now, let me show you two more things with this team. First is, let me go to Sunspear. So Sunspear is one of those that has a constant firestorm. It creates a firestorm at the start of every turn. All right? And so I'm going to go ahead, I've already got this leveled up completely, but I'm going to equip it so that you can see, um, nope, not going to equip it yet. Okay, Stormcaller. This is another one with a persistent storm. Stormcaller gives you a light storm at the beginning of every turn. That's more yellow gems falling than others. So I'm going to have a light storm here, but, but let me show you something. Tink Steam Whistle. Tink Steam Whistle is one of the three troops in the game that I am aware of right offhand that does a double storm and he conjures it at the beginning of every turn. So even though I have a light storm 
rolling. It's going to overwrite that. So it doesn't matter if I was in Sunspear or if I was in Shaman, it would not matter what kind of, um, what kind of storm I might have coming from my class. The troop is going to override it. So you can see that I have my Electro Storm, which is yellow and red. And here's the important part. This counts as both a light storm and a fire storm. So that means Venetia is still going to get her dub double damage when she casts. So we'll do this. It, it's done because it counts as a fire storm still, even though it's technically an electro storm, it's actually two storms at once. So the next thing I want to show you is what happens when you have all three of the of the troops that have that start with a storm this one creates a star storm which i can't remember right offhand what does the star storm do mm, it may be blue and yellow i can't remember let's move it to the bottom here all right we've got lyraza who creates a purple and blue storm and then tank as you just saw that does the um red and yellow Lyrazas is called a madness storm. I forgot to mention that. So when I start this battle, who knows what it's going to start with? The answer is whichever one's furthest down. Did you see that change? It was trying to start with uh, the shaman's, uh, am I using shaman? Is this the right? Yes. It tried to start with the shaman's leaf storm, but he immediately changed to the troop on the bottom Whichever one's lowest down on the left-hand side on your team is the one that's going to start the storm. So we have the, the star storm going, which is purple and yellow. That would be a dark storm and a light storm at the same time. So, ta-da! Yay! All right, so that is what I wanted to show you. This is not a good team. I just put it together to show you what happens when you have three or have more than one storm caller on your team at the same time. So that's all I wanted to show you. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.